Hey, you want to go hunting with Python Cowboy? Is that a euphemism? What? What? Oh boy. Swarms of green iguanas, more than a nuisance. Iguana invasion. The epidemic. Jurassic Park. Green plague. Destroying seawalls. Spreading dangerous salmonella. A serious health risk. Breaking points. It's okay to kill them. Declared open season on these scaly creatures. My name's Trapper Mike Kimmel, better known as Python Cowboy, and I own and operate Martin County and Trapping and Wildlife Rescue. Iguanas are a huge problem in Florida. They're destroying the seawalls, loot can carry salmonella, biting and attacking pets, destroying cable and phone lines and television lines. They're the second largest cause of power failures in the areas that they live, second only to squirrels. They stink, they nasty, and something has to be done. Uh, we're out here on the canal today looking to remove invasive species, um, green iguanas, muscovy ducks, pigeons, Egyptian geese, whatever we come across that doesn't belong here. Uh, these invasive species come in our, our native ecosystems, displace our native wildlife, um, have negative effects on our infrastructure, and we definitely need to stay on top of them and get them out of here. Mike does a lot of conservation in Florida. And basically, if it's invasive, Mike is there to get rid of it. That's just as that they don't get that big. Oh my god. It's bigger than the one you showed me a picture of. This thing is 15 pounds probably. I'm gonna have to drag her back. She ain't gonna be easy. She ain't gonna be easy at all. I'm gonna have to uh I'm gonna have to leave this GoPro. Load it down. Right, so here's ready. how it works. Boat goes in the water, Let's we go on the boat, and then we set sail uh, through the canals of Florida. It didn't take very long at all before Mike was on the iguanas showing us where they were. We used air rifles that shoot a little bit over 900 feet per second. They were pretty awesome, pretty accurate, and now I really want one. We were shocked at how incredibly resilient iguanas are. I don't know what it is, but you could shoot them a lot of times and they wouldn't die. You have to hit maybe like a one inch square between their eye and down back towards their neck, and that basically turns off the light switch. Anything outside of that, and it's a crapshoot. He's caught in the rope. I know Python Cowboy finds a lot of stuff in the canals, and honestly, there's a lot of trash that gets thrown in there, and that stuff can become dangerous. This was kind of a scary time. He got tied up in that line trying to fetch the iguana. The dog never panicked. Python Cowboy never panicked. Me? Internal panic. Send old cat. If it's flipping around, I'll grab it. Otto is a Drethar. And yes, I realize it sounds like I'm saying something from Game of Thrones. I don't know, I googled it quickly. You can google it yourself. I'm not your secretary. Between the two of them, they are a force to be reckoned with. We kicked butt and took names and all said we harvested about 60 iguanas. But the problem is that doesn't even make a dent. And that's why this conservation is so important. I'm not gonna lie, it felt good to be doing some good, but the overarching feeling that I probably had was, this is a lot of fun. Getting out there, being on the boat, hanging out with my friends, hanging out with other cool people, and honestly just shooting iguanas out of trees and watching the dog fetch them, I could do that all day long. And in fact, we did. These guided hunts have been a great way for us to get into areas where we don't have funding to remove them. Uh, we bring people out, they have a really good time, teach them how to remove the invasives, and we clean up the canal in the process. It's a win-win for everyone. We did eat part of our catch, and that was kind of an interesting thing. Rabbit Fire Rachel and I prepped them, Roy from Brownells, then seasoned them up and threw them on the grill. None of us knew what to expect. I don't think any of us had ever eaten iguana. And let's see, the legs, they tasted like chicken. I'm not gonna lie, I know that's the most cliche thing in the universe, but hey, that's what they tasted like. Except for 
We had the cheeks as well, and oh my god, it was delicious. I would eat iguana cheek every single day. Thanks to the crews of both boats, everything was safe, everything was professional, everything was awesome, and we had an absolute great freaking time. If you want to like, if you want to comment, if you want to subscribe, that's totally fine. I'm not telling you what to do. If you thought the video was cool, do any of those things, do none of those things. I don't care. The algorithm's out to destroy us anyway. Thanks for watching. Say yes to adventure, and I hope to see you out there. Perfect. Where can they, where can they find you and keep up with stuff and get gutted on? If you guys want to follow along with what we're doing, it's always some kind of different action. Uh, you can see me on Instagram, Python Cowboy, uh, YouTube by the same name, and if you want to book a hunt, Email pythoncowboyhunts at gmail.com and we'll get you all set up. Iguanas are prolific breeders, like your mom. Uh, God. Mike does a lot of conversation. Conservation. Mike does a lot of cons. Why is this hard? Why? This should not be hard. Mike does a lot of conservation in. Mike does a lot of con. <laughs> Fuck my life, dude. Oh, uh, God. There it is. Nope, that's not my face. This is my face. Stupid. He works with his dog, Otto, which is a dragon papyr. Um, let's see, anything outside of that? And it's a crapshoot. Iguana killing machine. Bro, they are good.